What is happening, Diecast community? Diecast world? I am Red Eye 247 Hot Wheels. Man, it has been a good while since I've been able to upload a video. Um, I just haven't had much time. I've just been so busy, been kind of working, and then you have life, and then life throws you lemons. So I guess you got to make lemonade, um, like they say. But anyway, I'm still here. Haven't had a chance to do much collecting, I guess you could say. It's, like I say, it's just been kind of tough, but. Anyway, I thought I'd shoot a video for you guys. Uh, this video is pretty much, let's say it's going to be a lowrider video. I really have, I was watching videos the other day and everybody shows cars that they find and what they have. Um, daily finds, this and that. I figure I'd show you some cars that I've had in my collection. I guess we can say that resemble lowriders or are lowriders. Um, I figure I'd give a shout out to the lowrider community. I mean, I like... Uh, I like collecting cars. I like collecting hot rods, low riders. I pretty much collect it all. So I'm not picky or I'm not specific to one type of car. But I figured I'd show you guys uh, my... I have some open collection and then I have some that are carded. Um, but since I have my little turntable out now, I guess I'll start with the uh, open collection. And the first car that I have here... Let me see, make sure I can read this right because sometimes I just... I don't know, I haven't been able to see lately um geez i guess you're gonna see it right now 58 thunderbird i believe it's what this one is <clears throat> it's got a really nice uh gray pretty much a gray with a light green and then a, I i want to say I, it's not really a dark green but it's just a teal green maybe i'm, I'm not sure but um it's got a wide interior um uh, nice lace wheels dig the fin in the back looks pretty cool um i can't remember when i got this one actually but i think i found this out of a goodwill pack that i got but um yeah i dig this car it's a pretty sweet looking little car um like the color like I say that color and that green that color that gray and that green go pretty good together but there's one there i guess we'll start laying them out as we go here um I'll put this one on. It's a Cadillac. I think this is a 50... Uh, let me see. Lincoln Continental. I can't even read. I think it's a 64 Lincoln Continental. I figure I'd throw that in there. Uh, love that blue. Beautiful blue color. And it's got... I guess you could say like some lighter blue pinstriping around the hood. Back of the trunk. You can kind of see it there going around. It's got that baby blue interior. Um, got some spoke wheels on it. Yeah, I dig this one. This one's a pretty nice car. Um, got that one there. Uh, the next one we have something new and modern. Everybody's seen these here. Cadillac. Uh, Cadillac Seville. I'll just try to say what year, but I don't, I don't think it has the year on it. Um, got that real nice blue. Kind of looks like it's got some, a little bit of... A pearl in it. It's a, it's a really nice blue. I mean, if you've seen it, you've known it's a pretty nice blue. And it's got that baby blue on the side. Got that red interior. Got that. Let's see. Got that T-top open on the top. Pretty nice car there. We got that one. So you know, if we have that one, we're gonna have the brown one. Oh, we're gonna have the brown one too. And that brown one's not not too bad. That's the first release, I believe, that they had in it. Let me see how I had a little dust on it. But yeah, this one has been... This one, I think my grandson's been playing with this one because the windshield's a little scratched up. But got the red tail lights, got the red interior. Um, this one's got different wheels. No, it's got the same wheels as the other one. Sorry. Uh, we got that one there. <clears throat> Let me see what else we got. The next one we have is going to be the fish... Ooh, come on, stay on. Fish and chips. Pretty cool looking car there. I think this car is pretty nice. I've always liked the body style on this one. Um, I think this one comes out of a mystery pack, I believe. I'm not which one. I'm not, I, I can't remember that, but I, I do know that one is out of a mystery models car, which that one was pretty cool. Then we have this one. Dig that blue, that flat. I guess you could say flat blue with the red window. That looks pretty cool. And then that flame running on the side there. And I've noticed some of these, um, 
either the body is going to be die cast and the bottom is plastic or reverse the body's plastic and the bottom is die cast which is kind of weird i don't know why they do it like that but this is one for example this is the hot wheels art car um nice design on it pretty much like a low rider design on it. uh one second all right i am back i am so sorry um had some my wife got home had to open the door dogs were tripping anyway uh let's get back to where we were at another fish and chips here um red got the uh what incredibles tampo livery on it disney on the hood um pretty much they all have the same wheels that was the one that had a different like a steely type which wasn't too bad but this got a what uh you got a yellow window red red uh just a pretty much dark red uh just the color just red color <laughs> i can't even can't even think of it um anyway that was a uh, fish and chip there uh, the next one in line that we have is going to be uh, i think they called this one laying the laying lowrider this one i don't know this one when i took it out of the package it seemed like the body was a little off like it's not you can kind of tell right there where it's like it's all raised up it's not sitting all the way but anyway it's got like a maroon beautiful maroon color with the uh pretty much all the pinstriping on the hood like a pink pinstripe um you roll it and that little motor up there just rocks back and forth but yeah i really like that one that's a really beautiful color on that one and then we have the uh, we have the other color to this one it's in that uh blue real light baby blue it's not baby blue but it's like a real light blue and then it got the pink uh, it looks like it's pink and green pin striping on it all over on the sides um it's got a blue window this one has blue windows uh, silver interior it's gonna match the grill um yeah but well, that one's pretty cool too for a nice looking little low rider and i do believe they have a new color that's coming out in the newer cases um i haven't seen that one yet so hopefully we'll get to get to hunt soon it's been a while so i've been able to go hunting um ain't been in a while um next one we have here your classic purple passion uh, got yellow windows um this one is actually one of the color changing ones so if you put it in the cold or in the hot it will change colors i can't i want to say let's see if it changes right now can't remember if it's got to be cold to get it to change but that one's pretty cool for purple passion i thought that one was nice with the flames on the side and then we have this purple passion uh, which i believe that one is a mystery model if i'm correct on that one um just can't remember which one it came out of it's got a real nice lime green color it's got like a jungle livery on it now, now that i'm looking at it it's jungle uh jungle cruise is what it says on the hood i got like a little toucan on the side but that one is pretty cool and the last purple passion i have um this one's got like white walls on it beautiful paint job on this one it's like uh like a light purple uh, it's got like oh you can see like the flake in it i mean you just see it right now just looking at it um got the white walls uh, i think it's got yeah a yellow well, it could be yellow interior with the clear window that's what it looks like um this one it was a little bit older i want to say this one was from 2002 or 2004 something like that i know it was the package was old when i opened it that's all i, I can remember um let me see the next one i have here is going to be this moon eyes this 47 chevy beautiful looking car there especially in that moon eyes yellow moon eyes livery got them laced wheels on it um i want to say clear windows i believe just can't really i i can't tell what it looks like on the inside it's pretty dark from where i'm sitting could be chrome on the inside but got this one there and the yellow so you know if you have that yellow one you're gonna have the flat black oh let's see if we get it to stand 
flat black <clears throat> and the moon eyes livery which this one is a really nice one um you take one of those silver pins to it and do some detail on it it would look pretty nice i did that on one of them and then i don't know where i left it i don't know if my grandson got a hold of it and put it somewhere but it's i can't find it but yeah that one is pretty cool for a nice little low rider um this next one oh hold on boy what a day round three let's get back to where we were at now i got this little pink uh sheesh let me see if i can read this here uh 19 1955 cadillac fleetwood it's just nothing but a solid pink gray top got the lights done tail lights done in the back um pretty sweet color um Low rider, I kind of to me it kind of resembles it. And on the back, I didn't realize it says pinky. That's pretty cool. Um, it's a pretty cool little matchbox. I thought that one was pretty cool. I'd put it in there with the little low rider section. Um, then we have uh, a 1957 Thunderbird. Look at that one. I thought for like a dark, I guess like a darker pink. I don't know what to call those wheels, but it's got like a brown. Like, not like a brown, like a cream interior, but that's a really nice, that's a nice color there. I'd like to see that on a few other cars. We've got that there. Um, it's got this Merc. I think it was the 49 Merc. Uh, yeah, a 49 Merc. This one's a Batman livery. This came out of a Batman 5-pack, which I thought this one was pretty cool. I only wanted that Batman pack for one other car, but... Yeah, this one's pretty cool. Got Batgirl on the side. A really nice blue. Mm, if you were to take, just take that livery off there, that'd be a pretty nice blue color. But yeah, that one was pretty cool. Uh, then we have, let's get into this one here. Got La Troca in black. Uh, that's an art car, I believe, the Hot Wheels art car. Uh, let's see real quick. Man, I didn't realize that what that is. That one is pretty dusty. Uh, let's see if we can make it look a little bit better. The black Heart Wheels art car. La Troca. Just a solid black. Jeez, come on, stay on. Solid black. Well, let's rephrase that. A glossy black with gold striping all over it. Makes it look pretty good. Um, hopefully she's focusing right. Yeah, that one's pretty nice. I do like this La Troca. That's a pretty good little casting there. That one's starting to hit pretty heavy on me. Then we have this one in gold with some white striping and a little bit of, it looks like a little bit of gold also. This one's pretty nice. Got gold lace wheels. I dig the color on this one too. If you were to strip that and put a different low rider decal on it or tampos on it, that'd be pretty cool. But that one's pretty nice. Then we got the other color, the other color variation to that one, which is a beautiful pink. I like this pink. And this pink really pops out. I like, like I say, this one would also look pretty cool on the color. On a, this, that color would look pretty nice on a few other cars, or maybe a few imports, maybe a few hot rods. I think it look pretty cool. But we got that one there, and then the last one. This is gonna be just La Troca. This that one is an older model, and I like this one because I like the way they did the bed. Almost like two, like you got the truck, and then you got the bed. And you can see it right there how it looks like the bed separate, and the whole bed is actually one complete bed compared. Oops, compared to how you see how that one is. They got the bed with part of the window, which is kind of dumb, but. I'll take it as it comes but yeah i do like this one just flat lavender i guess you can say I got a little bit of decals up on the top and that's pretty much it I, and i just realized that now now that i'm actually staring at it it's got like a little bit of pin striping up there but yeah that's pretty cool i do like that car I like that truck i guess you could say um the next one is uh, an art car um 60 I think it's a 64 Buick Riviera. Also part of the Hot Wheels art cars. Looks like it's a Dea. 
Day of the Dead livery. Looks pretty cool. Got them skull wheels. Not really a fan of those, but I guess they kind of go with this. It's got like a purple violet window. Looks like it's also a red interior. It's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, that one's pretty cool. Uh, that Riviera is like pretty sweet. Got that one there. And then we have... Uh, let's see. I don't think it's a 58. But I could be wrong. 58 Impala. This one is also part of the art car, art art wheels, art uh, art cars. Um, it's also a treasure hunt, I believe. But also another looks like another Day of the Dead. Got those tins in the back. Got that spare tire in the back. This one's pretty cool. That black and white make it look pretty cool. And it's pretty nice like that. And then we have, let me see, what we have here a 15, I think it's a 59, a 59 Chevy Impala. Also the nice, I think now that I'm realized that's probably the same color as that one. Like I say, that's a nice color. Um, it's got purple windows, got the gold lace wheels, and it's got the gold, the base bottom. The interior is purple in this one. It's got the nice... I guess pinstriping on the hood, on the trunk, on the sides. Got that lowrider style. But that one's cool. Got that one, then I found this one. And I believe this one's a Dollar General exclusive. And that gloss black with that blue. Well, that looks pretty nice. They did pretty good on that one. That one does look real nice. Got a, uh, got like a gray interior. And now that I'm looking at this one, this one, the speakers in the back of the window are different. And actually, no, 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 I'm, I'm tripping. They're the same. They're the same. That's from that, the other, from the 58, they are different. Uh, yeah, but this one's nice too. Can't go wrong with that one. And then we have a 64 Impala. Well, this is a tuned version of this. This one's a tuned version. And uh, that red. It's got nice little decals on the side. Got the gold. What is that? Like a five spoke? I think. I'm not sure what those are called. It's got, a, it's got that chrome base, chrome interior, clear windows. And that one's pretty cool. I like how they did that one. And then we have the blue one that matches it. Same thing, clear windows. Campos are the same, just white. Actually, the other one's white too, so why do I say that? Silver interior. Got the fins sticking out. Or I guess you could say the exhaust pipes. That's what they made that to be. I think that's what that is. But yeah, that one's pretty cool. And then we have... This one I just got recently off uh, off of eBay. Bought it for $2. Won it, won it for 2 bucks. Got that 64 Chevy Impala taxi. I think it's from the taxi rides also. Got them gold lace wheels. Got that taxi livery. It's pretty cool. Do you like that one? That's the only 64 Impala Hot Wheels that I do own. And I will get a few more. I do know that because I do want a few more of those. Um, I have this one. It's called Brick. Uh, I think it's called Brick Cutter. Look at that one there. Nice purple paint job on that one with that flake in it. Look at that. I mean, it sticks out. Got that red window. Got the red tail lights. I like how they did that tribal on the side. Got that motor sticking out. That one's pretty cool. Got them big old wheels on it. I found that one in the collection, so I decided to open it. And then the next one we have is another art car Monte Carlo. Let me make sure before I stick it on there. No, an Oldsmobile 442. Part of the art car. Oh, she was trying to clean something off of it and I throw it around. Here we go. Look at that, but donk a donk. I think they used to call those the donks. Got them big old 25s on it or 30s, whatever they put on it. I'm not sure. I really wasn't into that style of car. It's got blue windows. 
Um, it's actually a nice red paint job. It's got a little speck to it, a little flake in it. It's pretty nice. Take off the decals and it would look pretty it would, Well, it would look pretty nice. But that one's pretty cool. Ah, the next one I have is another... What's this one? I think this is a Caprice. Yeah, 70... Let me see if I... 75 Chevy Caprice. Now this one I did do a, a wheel swap. I wasn't a fan of the other wheels, but I thought the wheels, these brought it out and made it look low rider. Let me get that there. Nice little moon eye, moon eye style rims. That looks pretty cool. And I dig that dark, it's like a dark bluish, blue purple color. It looks pretty nice. That, like sometimes you know if you shoot colors, the camera does not do it justice. That one does look pretty nice. Uh, let me see. The next one I have is a Maisto. I think it's the same car. This one actually is a, an 87 Chevy uh, Chevy Caprice. Look at that there. I think the hauler that came with it. I have it. I have, I have it. It's like it has a yellow hauler, a Maisto hauler. Like that is a Maisto car there. That one is pretty cool. The next two that I have are going to be Maestro also, which are pretty nice, but one of them I'm a little disappointed in. I'm going to have to do some trim work on it, but this one's got the amp in the back window. Looks like 210. It's got a nice steering wheel. You can actually see it right there. You can see the little setup in the back window, the little amp and the two, two tins. We're rocking it. That's pretty cool. And then this one, this one I had, this one's a Buick. Oh, let me make sure that 65 Buick Riviera. I'll show you here in a second. That nice purple. Look at that. Uh, you barely touch these or lay them down. They get dirty quick. But look at that. Beautiful two-tone paint job. Got that real nice purple. Got that blue stripe and then the white on the bottom. Nice. Nice two-tone paint job. But actually, let me show you something real quick. I just seen something too that was on it. Is that part of that or? I wasn't too sure what that was. But that's a pretty nice little maestro right there, I must say. Now, it does have its own little hauler that it came with. And in the back, wasn't really a fan of it. But right here in the back, I took the screw out, which you can kind of see there. The screw doesn't, that's as tight as it goes. Because it takes this little hook for the trailer. And then it looks kind of dumb the way it sticks out when you got that on the bottom there. And then you got that big hook sticking out. Which I really wasn't a fan of that. I took it off. Then I tried to do it on this one. On the 65. No the 59 Chevy Impala. But this one doesn't come off. It stays on there. And I love this beautiful lavender color paint job. Look at that flame on the side. Nice rims. This one. Maestro knocked it out of the park with this one. To me I think they did. I said a great job. Fins in the back look sick. Beautiful car. I mean beautiful car. Got that nice stern wheel on the inside. Got that black interior. Just that only thing that kills it is that in the back. See if I can get it to adjust there. But look at that. And it's molded in the back. It doesn't come off. So I'm probably gonna have to cut it off there. Like a little dremel and cut it off. But yeah, that kind of sucks how they did that. Wasn't really a fan of that. Kind of made it shitty. Um but I guess that's to haul the, like I said, that one came with also its own little hauler. Um, this next one here is a Monte Carlo Matchbox. This one was a moving parts. Wasn't sure if I was going to open it, and then I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and open it. The only thing I didn't like the, on the hood, the paint job was kind of, I don't know, it looked like it, something got on it when they painted over it, and they just still painted over it. But this one they did to me they've done a great job on some of these colors because i have a few other moving parts and when you look at the doors or the parts that open compared to the other part of the car it's like it's two different colors that does not look good at all it looks off like it'd be a darker like this would be a gold and then the door would be a really dark gold but this one's a nice monte carlo right here they did a pretty good job on that one and then this one wasn't sure if I was going to open it or not, but I decided to open it. I love the way they did that lowrider, uh, how to say, theme. The decals on it, on the hood, on the trunk. That looks pretty nice. 
love how it how that just goes over I don't know the blue and the white it just makes it look good it's got the money collar on the license plate it's got a little bit of chrome and a light blue on the interior steering wheel looks pretty good in it um, you can kind of see it right here when it turns it's got a little chrome on the floor on the floor mats which looks pretty cool but yeah this is a nice Monte Carlo if you haven't opened it it's pretty heavy it is a pretty heavy car and it does look pretty good wheels are okay wheels aren't too bad they're not bad at all um, now that's what I have that's opened um, I'm gonna get let me move some of these cars because I want to uh, let me show you what I have everything else I have is gonna be carded um, I do have this moon eyes ground uh, ground pounders this 1949 mercury nice uh, just black with the flames that kind of to me that I just see low rider in that I mean most people probably won't I don't know but I do have it in that one and I have this other ground and pounders and the same color black just blue flames wheels are different but that's pretty nice there damn I'm looking at that now I need to get over there to that little corner and dust that little section off sheath there you go a little bit better but we have that and then I have um, a green light my wife liked this car so we ended up getting it at a car show I paid 10 bucks for it a little green light the 64 Chevy Impala damn, now that I'm looking at it I do need to get the duster out jeez um, look at there it's got roses all over it pink interior nice wheels I said I think I only own one 64 Chevy Impala. I own two now. I didn't realize I own this one, but in Hot Wheels, I do own one. But yeah, this one's pretty nice. Um, got that one there. And then we have this 1985 Chevy Caprice, which we had one of these. Ours was orange. We had an orange one growing up. My, my dad did, my mom and dad did. It was a pretty nice car. I was always embarrassed of it. Didn't want to be seen in it, but wish I could have it back now because it was I could do some things with it. But that's a nice, just a gold gray on the bottom, gold on gold wheels. That one's pretty nice. And then we have some Johnny Lightning. Got the zingers here, the uh, '62 Chevy Impala Coupe, but it is a zinger, but it's still an Impala, it's still a low rider. Got that big motor. I thought it was pretty cool, so I figured I'd add it to the show and tell. And then we have the second one that we found. Well, that my wife found this one hanging on the other side, on the other side of the store. It's got the other color to it. Uh, this one's version A. I think the other one was version B. I do like this color. It's a nice color in this one. That's a nice white wheel. And we had that one, and then I had. Uh, this treasure hunt this uh, purple passion and that black with a nice flame job all over that one that's when they had uh, just basically when the treasure hunts had rubber wheels back in 2005 nice treasure hunt there do dig that purple passion and then we had I don't know if this is, would be considered a lowrider car I think it looks like a lowrider car it's called, and I, I, I like this casting. It looks pretty cool. Uh, the Tucker Torpedo. Love the way they did the colorway on that. The black and the green. I just think it looks cool. I like those wheels too. I don't know if I can show those wheels. but Man, those wheels are really nice. I don't think I'm going to be able to show them. They got that Treasure Hunt logo there on the back. They got that metal base metal metal top off and they were all metal like that one that one just that one looks nice that one looks nice to me and then we have um, the uh, tail dragger another treasure hunt that had rubber wheels but was just a treasure hunt has it there that's a little T there on the side nice dark purple nice livery temples on this one too it's not really not like they went wild and crazy on it but just something real smooth and it looks pretty good but do like that one and then my last one I have um, 
I don't know. I could to me it just looks like a lowrider car to me. Um, they're trying to wipe it down here because I just didn't realize. Jeez, sitting this one's been sitting in the closet and it gets dusty like that. Jeez, I need to get in there too. But this one's an evil twin. Nice maroon color with the flames. Look at that. That looks really nice. Kind of like it's outlined in black flames and it's outlined in, in, in the red with it too. So I don't I like the way they did that. It looks pretty cool. But there's there's kind of the top there. I can't do too much because I'm killing the light. But there's the front. Try to get most of it. So you can hopefully see it. But that's that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much all I have that would be considered lowrider. Actually, I have one more. I'm sorry. This is the M2 Moon Eyes. Uh, let me see. This is also the uh, 49 Merc. I thought this one was pretty cool too. Just in that gray, just in that, just in that gray, that gray color with the, with that yellow and black flame. Look at that. That looks nice. Got the Moon Eye style rims. And that truck looks pretty nice too. Yeah, I dig that one there. That's a, that's a nice Moon Eyes there. Had a few of these at one time. I think I had three of these at one time. And I did trade. I did a few trades and got rid of the other two. But oh well. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you stayed this long, uh, I just want to say thank you. I try not to do really long videos, uh, but this one took up a little bit longer than I thought it was. Um, like I said, once again, thank you for staying. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I just out there, I, I challenge you guys. If you watch. You watch my video i challenge you man let me see your lower i want to see some lowrider collections out there i really don't see many of them on youtube everything's just like i said they're what they find for the week or what they bought and it's just a lot of regular cars and newer stuff i, mean, I want to see some of these older cars some of these lowrider style cars i think that's pretty cool i dig that culture but until the next one i'm out peace